Bolt is a smaller player in a large market with big competitors like Google and Shopify and PayPal, but the company's managed to make a lot of noise and raise a lot of money. What separates Bolt from the competition? It's exciting that Bolt is able to get a lot of traction, both with our investors, our partners, and customers. One of the big problems we are going after is conversion at checkout for retailers. 75% of shoppers drop out right at checkout. Mm. That's 85% if you are on mobile. That's almost a trillion dollar problem for US just in one year. So Bolt is really going after solving that problem, helping retailers to convert those shoppers they spend a lot of money on bringing on board. And now, as I understand, it's mostly a tool though for small businesses right now. Do you need Amazon and Walmart and Target and giant retailers to really compete? Right. So right now, most of the businesses have to make a choice, right? If they want to great, give them a really convenient one-click checkout experience, they either have to go to an ecosystem like Amazon, but if they want to give that experience by themselves, that doesn't exist today. Mm -hmm. So what Bolt is building is a shared shopper accounts network mm -hmm. that can share all the shopper information across all different merchants that's using Bolt. And do you see some of these bigger retailers coming on board and signing on to your vision? Absolutely. Okay. Recently, Fanatics picked Bolt as uh, the solution for their one-click needs and for them to engage with the shoppers. And we are seeing several other customers like Forever 21 already use Bolt for um, a long time now. Uh, Badly Mishka, there are several verticals. Uh, we have like solo stuff. Um, that, so a lot of customers are using Bolt right now, very successful. Now Bolt, as I understand, has been trying to raise some money at a $14 billion valuation. We're going into a down market. What are the dynamics of that? Are you going to have to lower your expectations? Now, Bolt has been in a great place. We just raised money at $11 billion on uh, we call our Series E round. And we are continuing to see more and more traction with the big customers signing up right now. We are also seeing all the partners signing up with Bolt. Uh, we signed BigCommerce, we signed Magento, we signed PrestaShop, and a lot more partners, are e-commerce partners are signing up with Bolt because they want to provide a one-click checkout experience and they are looking to Bolt. So well, what are your fundraising conversations like now? Yeah. I mean, are you having trouble raising money at a $14 billion? Not at all. So what we are seeing right now is because of all the big customers we are able to close and we have a very solid pipeline and the interest we are seeing from partners and uh, you know everyone around us, what we are seeing is a higher interest for us and most of the, in the fund market, people are looking for differentiated products. Like, you know, there are so many players kind of doing the same product in slightly different form. Mm -hmm. Bolt is very unique. We are the only one that do what we do. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is the shared shopper accounts network. And the difference what we provide is, unlike having a separate button or creating an extra workflow on a merchant site, we integrate our product natively into the existing workflow of the shoppers. Now, you recently took over as CEO after being CTO and running operations for a period of time. Not without some controversy, the CEO, former CEO and founder of Bolt, Ryan Breslow, gained some degree of infamy, infamy with a series of tweets where he called out companies like Stripe, Y Combinator, the quote unquote mob bosses of Silicon Valley. Do you agree with his point of view? Ryan is a great leader and a phenomenal visionary. Like he can see things ahead of anybody else. And that he's one of the main reasons I came to Bolt. Mm -hmm. And he and I have such a partnership and that's the reason why he even asked me to take on the CEO mm -hmm. role. He has a strong vision for not just Bolt, but for the e-commerce and all the founders. Mm -hmm. So he will continue to you know, advance the path for Bolt, the founders, e-commerce and everything. And I'm very aligned with him on all that. So what do you make of the controversy, though, and the response to his big vision and calling out some of the more established players in Silicon Valley? I think Ryan himself said, you know, short-term thinkers get crushed long-term, and long-term thinkers sometimes get crushed short-term. Mm. So when you are trying to drive big changes, you got to get comfortable being misunderstood in short-term. Mm. So what's his level of influence now that he's executive chair? How involved is he in the business and the decisions that you're making? 
Yeah, between Ryan and I, we kind of split our role mm -hmm. in, and we are doubling down in areas where we have strength. Mm -hmm. I bring in a lot of strength in building great technology, products, and also creating a business and scaling it, and also hiring great people. Ryan is really good at closing big deals, going after, you know, going with investors. So he is focusing, doubling down and focusing in his time on investments and closing big deals. I am spending my time on running and building one of the greatest companies on the planet. So together, we are moving faster than ever before, and that's the partnership we have. You've touted some large-scale social media deals. We know about Pinterest. What other deals can you tell us about? Well, we are continuing to work with a lot of platforms. We recently made an acquisition called Tipster. Mm -hmm. It's a European company. They have been doing social commerce for the last eight years and we wanted to move in social commerce. And we started building some of those initially and we found uh, Tipster has been ahead of us and doing great, so we acquired them. Now they are part of us. And together between Tipster's connection with all the social media and our integration with all the merchants together, we are in a great place to leapfrog and provide all the merchants solutions for all the social commerce right now. And when are we gonna see these deals meaningfully impact revenue? Right now we are seeing, this year is a big, big year for execution okay. for us. We already launched big commerce uh, in, as general available like the beginning of this month, and that's getting a lot of traction. Uh, we are starting to find a lot of merchants automatically turning on Bolt. It takes under two minutes for a, shop, for a merchant to turn on Bolt, and that is a massive improvement for us uh, from how it was before. And so now we are starting to see a lot more merchants are starting to use Bolt. We are opening the same thing with a lot of other platforms like uh, Adobe is coming right after that and Presta is coming after that. And, and, and a lot of merchants are getting live right now. So we are at a spot where a, a lot of action happening as we speak. So why should we believe that Bolt is worth $14 billion? Well, Bolt is building the biggest shopping network on the planet. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing that acceleration to get to that place through the partnerships we are seeing, all the big mega merchants who are signing up right now to use Bolt. And we, the way we are sharing our shopper network across merchants and the way we are integrating our shopper accounts right into the existing workflow. And we are signing up with, uh, you know, and helping with the social commerce side. And we are also getting into crypto and helping with some of the new generations, connecting brands to communicate with the new generations. So. Collectively, all of it, we are really innovating for the retail, we are innovating for the customers, and we are bringing it all together, and uh, you know that, and, and we are seeing a lot of traction for that.